Hey guys, it's Monica. I think I'm getting daring, right? I'm doing another sort of get ready with me. Um, I have basically, well, I'm gonna show you a couple of wigs, but I'm gonna do that at the very end of the video that I'm selling. And they're, um, they're all uh, Renea Paris, and one is the, the um, one that didn't sell, Robin from Wig Pro. And I'm really surprised Robin didn't sell because I think Robin's adorable. I, I mean, I think she's, I like Robin a lot. I'm surprised it didn't sell yet. But anyways, um, I'm gonna do just a little bit of an eye look. What I've done today because, and I'm gonna superimpose this on top of this video, but what I've basically done is my morning skincare is pretty simple. When I wake up in the morning, uh, whatever time it is, I put my red light therapy mask on my face. Sometimes I get up, I go to the restroom, I just kind of put water on my face. I don't wash my face. And then I dry it and I go back to bed and I put this Candy Way Red Light Therapy. I've been using it since April, I believe. Yeah, April. Um, it was initially sent to me complimentary and without any strings. I'm not being compensated. They're not paying me. It's not sponsored in that sense at all. But it was sent to me to try and if I wanted to, to share it. And that's how a lot of the larger companies or companies that want to be found out about, so to speak, want to be discovered. That's how they are. They don't have a bunch of demands. So I just absolutely loved the whole philosophy behind Candy Way and jumped right on it. And I have been using that probably a good five times a week, sometimes even more in the morning. And I think it's made a huge, huge difference. So my morning routine, because so many of you have asked, is I will get up um, after I've done my, my mask therapy if I need to exfoliate my skin, depending on my Retin-A use, if I need to exfoliate, I have been using the Ella Frida. This, I, this was also sent to me complimentary. And Ella Frida is a company that Babs Take Control Beauty uses and loves. So they sent this to me complimentary. And I, I think I talked about it a little bit ago, but this one, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This is a super, super gentle exfoliation. So if I need it, if I'm in the middle of a peel cycle because I've been using my Retin-A, especially on my forehead, because that's where I seem to, my forehead and around my mouth is where I seem to peel the most. This is the most sweetest, gentlest exfoliation. So I get up in the morning, I don't have to wash my face, but if I felt I did, then I would. But in general, I just kind of rinse it. And then if I need to do an exfoliation, I do. And right now that is what I'm using. I have a, a number of products from Ella Frida and I really like everything that I've used so far. When I'm done that, I kind of you know dry my face and usually what comes on next is gonna be my vitamin C. So I put my vitamin C on. I, you know, I, I, I have a number of different vitamin C's that I'm going to be using that I haven't started yet because I keep going back to Timeless. It just works for me. And when you get the 50% off sale, it's like super affordable. I really, really like it. So I use the vitamin C from Timeless and then I use the Matrixyl Sync 6 Serum afterwards. I, I'm not too fussy about letting it dry down. I put the vitamin C on, I put it back in the refrigerator, I walk in the bathroom and I grab this and I put a generous amount on my hands, drops, and I just put it all over my face, my neck, my hands, um, you know, everywhere that goes on my face will go down usually on my neck, my decolletage, um, did I say that right? And on my hands. So at, then at one point, um, oh, before I've done the vitamin C, if I need to tone, I will use a toner. I have a few different toners that I, I like. Currently, I'm working through the Ella Frida. This is the hydrating toner. I like it a real lot. I also like Peaches Skin Care. I've talked about their products. Um, I haven't tried anything new in Peaches in quite a while, and uh, but I do like their products, and I love their vinegar toner a lot, so I use that a lot. And, um, and then at the end of that, I will use a hyaluronic acid and I'll put that on. And the current one that I'm using is Good Molecules. I just buy it um, at Ulta or wherever. Um, I'm not fussy with it. So I am a skincare junkie in that sense. I really, really like to have good skincare. I'm 69, I'm gonna be 70 in February. That sounds so scary old, but I'm going to be 70 in February. So um, what I have been also using, and I forgot to mention this, 
is I probably have, I've been trying to use this every day. This is the Evertone Lift that I bought. Hmm, I think I've already talked about it, but um, this is the New Face Dupe and I had another one that I used. So I've been trying to be very, very consistent with using this again because my jowls drive me crazy and they're there and I know it's a weight issue um, and I know it's exercise and all that stuff. So I've been, I've been using this and sometimes I use this at night, you know, so you can use it in the morning, you can use it at night. I really like that, I've been using it a lot. I recently got um, sent from a friend of mine on Facebook who is involved, and I'm going to put the company name. I'm not just sure. I don't know the details on the company. I don't really think it's multi-level marketing in the, in the sense, but it could be. But she sent me some skincare to take a look at, and this is, I'm going to say, Promfera Rose, and she sent me some samples. Now, the, the package itself is, I mean, it's not inexpensive. Um, I think the, a four, the four complete sizes is like $141. And I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I haven't tried them. She sent me very small little samples. She numbered them so I can see what the products are. Number one, number two, number three. And then a little bit of the serum, the oil, which is, I guess, everything that everyone has been really raving about. So I don't know if you're familiar with this company. I have not tried it. Again, I'm going to link it all um, from, from Farah. It's a, it's like a, I don't know if it's cold press, but it's like a rose type of an oil. It's from a different plant. It's not like rose seed, but it is an oil. It is, a, it sounds really good. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to try that, but you guys know, right? You, to, to know if anything works, <laughs> you need to be consistent and you need to use it a while. So I just have like two, maybe two applications. All I'll be able to tell you is, did I like it? I wouldn't be able to tell you if it worked. I wouldn't be able to tell you if I'd buy it because that's not enough, but I will check it out. I will give it a sample. I'll take a look at it and, um, and see, you know, see if I like it. So at the end of this video, I am going to do a wig sale. And I did a wig sale on the end of my last video and I was able to sell two of the wigs, which I thought was pretty good. And, um, but like I said earlier, I was kind of surprised that the wig that I really thought was super nice is the one that hasn't sold. So I'm using Wet n Wild. This is Wet n Wild Cream Brulee. I kind of like that as my all over my bone color to put my, my base of my, my um, eyeshadow on. So I'm gonna be using this MAC palette that I have. It's a little, it's not all mattes. There is some glimmer in there, but not a whole lot. Anyways, I'm gonna be using that and Basically, hopefully, this look will come out halfway decent, but Jay and I went out, we went out last night to, well, by the time you see this, it'll be Sunday. Oh, I hear banging. You okay? Are you okay? He's got headphones on, so he can't hear anything. You're banging like crazy, and I'm talking on a video. And you've got headphones on, so you can't hear me go, are you okay? Are you okay? Man. Anyway, so Jay and I went out. I didn't know you were out here. Well, he didn't know I'm out here. I'm not going to edit him out. Uh, so Jay and I went out last night, and we went to Plum Island. We went to Newburyport, and we went to Michael's Harborside, which is a really nice little restaurant. I'll, I'll enclose some pictures. And we sat out on the deck. It was really, it was a date night for us. And it was really the first time that um, we've been out like that. We went to one event last week, which was a realtor event. And that was really nice. But this was, this was just something that we like to do. So we went to a restaurant that we really like to go to. Really special. The weather is absolutely beautiful in, in New England right now. I just can't believe how, how warm it is. It is really, really nice. So we did that, and then we went to Plum Island at the end of the, um, when you go down to Newburyport, you go all the way down to the very end, you get to Plum Island, 
and Plum Island is just, oh my God, it's gorgeous. So we stayed there and we watched the sunset and it was just really magical. It has been a, a rough couple of days yeah. here for us in New England. Probably, I mean, it's been rough for everyone. I, I get that. And, and I know that many people have faced different chat, you know, things like this and issues. Yeah. Sorry. Issues that have happened and Going down. stuff like that. But I have no idea what, what the world is coming to. I really don't. I mean, with everything that's happening with Hamas and Israel and, oh my gosh, and Palestine, every, everything that's happening, it's just so, it's so devastating. And I pray so hard for everyone to find humanity again. You know, I think we need to... We need to find humanity again. Somehow we kind of lost humanity, it seems like. So I think we just need to, to find it again. I'm making a mess of my eyes, of course. Normally I clean up afterwards anyways, so I'm not too worried about it being a mess. Um, I'm going to put on this brown liner. This is from Huda Beauty. It's almost all gone. And I will tell you, I absolutely love this liner. I am going to see if I can find... A shade that is very similar to this in, um, in either an Ulta or a Sephora liner um, because browns are hard for me if they're too warm they don't look good and I'm a black liner person and I, I get that I'm not supposed to be a black liner person I get that you know but I am I like to have my eyes show up and I guess that's that old mindset of mine that, you know, your liner has to be black and bold and to be seen. So, but this liner from Huda Beauty, this just seems to be the perfect brown for me. I just really, really like it a lot. So we'll see. We'll see if I can find it. If I can find one that is close, I'll be really happy. You know, be really happy. So all I have on my face this morning is my skincare, like I said. And then, um, you know, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be 70 in February. And I, I keep thinking, you know, I use Retin-A. Retin-A is my holy grail. I, you know, I have a little stash here of, of my, my Retin-A and my stuff that I use. But Retin-A is my holy grail and I would never ever give up my Retin-A. Um, I do use the 1% the gel, but I will tell you that if you, you can use all the Retin-A you want in the world, you can use all the real expensive skincare or whatever you want in the world, but if you don't protect your skin from the sun, it's all for naught. So to me, it's like a holy grail thing for me is sun protection. You know, I, I use the serums, I you do the skincare, I do all of that stuff, but if I don't put sunblock on, Nothing. Nothing is going to help. So on my face this morning, I've already got my, my skincare done and I have my sunblock. I don't have any of my foundation on, obviously. I don't have, um, I'm just kind of playing around with my eyes. We're going out in a little bit. I've been helping Jay with the motorhome. We're trying to winterize the motorhome and get that ready with antifreeze and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping that um, we get that done. And then this afternoon, we're supposed to be meeting friends and we're gonna be going out to dinner with friends um, up in Maine, actually. And we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going to Ken, um, Kittery, Maine. And that's where the outlets are. And the only outlet I'm gonna go to is one outlet and I'm gonna go to the cosmetic company store because that's the outlet I want to go to. So to go to the cosmetic company store, I want to see if I can get some more of the um, foundation. I really like the Estee Lauder. I didn't bring it out here, but I really like the Estee Lauder with the SPF in it. And I think I might have a glow because these lights are probably too warm. Is that different? Oh my God, now I think it's too cool. Is it too cool? But I think I had a glow before. But anyway, so I'm hoping that I can get the Estee Lauder 
the um, the one with the sunblock in it because that's really what I I like to just protect my skin as much as possible. It's really difficult to um, to do eyebrows when you're talking to people on camera. But anyway, so we are going to Maine. They they did. I'm sure many of you have heard about the the shooter in Maine up in Lewiston, and this is just un, it's to me it's unbelievable. We go, Jay and I go to Maine a lot, as most of you know, and, um, you know, this is an area, I don't know, this is just an area that I never, ever, ever would have pegged that something like this could happen. I also wouldn't want to mess around with the folks in Maine because um, they are super, super friendly folks, but they're not going to take any bull. And... Um, yeah, I I said, geez, I, I would, if this guy ends up going in the wrong house, somebody would take care of him because it's just really awful what happened. Anyways, we came back last night and I had a message from Sheila and she said, oh, they, they got the guy or whatever. And then I realized they were going to have a press conference at 10 o'clock. So, um, of course, then at 10 o'clock, they did announce that um, the shooter had been found um, dead. He had committed suicide. And, it, you know, for me, it's like, our, I think our mental health system just needs so much help. You know, it just needs so much help. It's like unbelievable. I know the HIPAA laws and I know you have to, you know, protect the integrity of, you know, you can't just give people's medical information out. I, I get that. But, I'm looking for a, um, oh, here it is. I'm looking for one of my wipes. I get that, and and I know, you know, you, you have to protect that integrity, but I will tell you, I, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a balance. There's just, there's gotta be a balance somehow. There's gotta be a balance, and I don't know what the answer is to get to that balance, but there's gotta be a balance. Anyways, what I did was just a very simple, shadow which I'll still have to blend and um, now I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer of choice which is my Fiera. I really like it. I know some people don't but my gosh I love this stuff. I have to get myself some more. Um, I have the medium beige and I like it. I usually put it on my hands, let it just warm up a little bit, and then I just use a very, very little bit of it. I also use this Cretice, Cretice Eye Brightening. I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, this stuff is awesome. So sometimes I put it on before my foundation, sometimes I put it on after my foundation. It all really depends. And I, I'm doing this and I cannot see what I look like. So I'm hope, I can see what I look like, but not. I don't have my magnifying my magnifying glass on. So foundation. I'm using Pebble and I'm mixing my Pebble with Freesia. Freesia is a bit too light for me. So I mix them both together a little bit so that I can hopefully get a halfway decent color blend. Usually I end up using my fingers, um, but today I'm going to use my brush. I've been trying to do more of my brushing, you know, using the brush a little bit more, but let's see. Oh my gosh, I am not doing that great here, am I? But so anyways, yeah, I'm going to go to, we're going to go to dinner with friends that we haven't seen since before Jay's surgery. And then we're going, to, I'm going to go before that, I'm going over to the cosmetic company store. Um, they have an outlet right there. And I really, I really like the cosmetic company stores outlets because I am a Estee Lauder lady. I love Estee Lauder. You know, I really do. A little bit of blush. I'm kind of like all over the place with my blush. Um, but right now, this is ColourPop. Sometimes I use the um, 
what is it called? Um, my Avon, an old Avon blush that I have, and I really, really like it. I have a, um, well, I have Ulta, I have all sorts of different blushes, but I actually have a contour that I've been trying to use, and I don't really do really well with that, but you can see I'm going to stick this on here. I am just not a contour person, and everyone says I should be, right? Because if I contour my face, my face will look better. <laughs> but I'm like going, uh-oh, I don't really know, right? I mean, I, I, when you don't use something on any kind of a regular basis, it's like, you know, I don't want to look like a joke. So, this is Essence, an Essence Contour. So when I've done this, right, and I, I'm going to go in the house, I'll shut this camera off and I'll finish up the rest of my makeup, but I just, I, I keep my eye look really simple because I'm learning. I'm not a pro at any of this. Um, I just, I'm just really, really learning and um, I'm looking forward to basically going to the cosmetic company store tonight, buying, see if I can get that, that, um, the ST Lauder that I want. This is my Mally Pore Defender. I'm just tapping it in. And I really like this stuff. Thank you to Mary Ellen. Um, Mary Ellen after 60. Is it after 60 or 50? <laughs> I gotta look her up, but you know Mary Ellen. Anyways, I really like this. She had turned me on to this quite a while ago. I, I love it. I think it's really cool. So this is kind of rambling. I wanted to show you my morning routine because so many of you have asked, and then I figured, well, maybe I'll I'll put my makeup on and do a little bit of a, a little bit of an eye look, and then I'm going to go in at the tail end of this. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. I'm going to finish up my makeup, but I'm going to be sharing, I think, three or four wigs that I'm going to sell, and um, and you know, yeah. And so, if you're interested in any of the wigs. Stay tuned. If not, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the pictures from the sunset last night in, in uh, Plum Island in Massachusetts. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous area. We, we absolutely love it there. We had, we had ordered a platter for two. We shared a platter and we couldn't even finish it. From We were at Michael's Harborside and we couldn't get an outer edge on the deck, but we were on the deck and it was just absolutely beautiful. Boats going by, the weather, the temperature, everything was awesome. Jay was out. Um, he's, he's doing so much better. He's walking with his cane, but he's doing so much better. I'm like so happy to see him starting to feel like Jay again. So that's super awesome. Um, and tonight, like I, I, you'll see this tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, and so I don't think I will have any of my my uh, Saturday night photos. But you'll see the Friday night, and you'll see some other stuff that happened um, during the week. But prayers, prayers to everyone affected by this lack of humanity that we seem to have in the world. I don't know how do we get it back. You know, how do we get to the point where we actually value each other again? seems like, I don't know, it seems so sad the way the world is. And this thing that happened in Maine with this mass shooter, 18 people dead, children, people playing cornhole at a bar and grill, people at the bowling alley. I, I guess it doesn't matter where you are. I mean, but my point is everyday life, you get up, you do this, and bump something happens like that. And you had, there are accidents that happen, but to have someone have such a, a mental break that they, and it, to me, I, because I can't phantom it, and I know he had some a mental break of some sorts. Um, it just is like, it's like unbelievable, you know, to, to imagine. And this guy was a firearms instructor. This is my cover. He was a firearms instructor, and he, he did that. Can you, I can't even, I can't even phantom it. I really can't. So, Anyways, last step on my skincare, on my makeup, when, I, when I'm all set and I'm not too sure, I think I'm going to still be playing with this, is I spray. So I have really been liking the e.l.f. Um, 
sunscreen. It works really well with my makeup. And then I like the, uh, the setting spray. The setting spray has an SPF of 45. The sunscreen has an SPF of 35. And I have a little bit, depending on whether what foundation I'm using, I sometimes have some sunscreen in my foundation. So I feel like I'm pretty well protected. And, and that goes to like, no matter what you do for anti-aging, if you don't put, and I know there's some people that I was surprised there's some people that do not believe in it. But if you don't put sunblock on, if you don't do something to take care of your skin, you're wasting your time with all of any kind of any kind of retin-A, you know, um, or any kind of skincare. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. Right, because it, it doesn't do any good if you're not gonna take care of your canvas. Hmm, I did that crooked. <laughs> uh, you know, I have, I have the thinnest lips. I have the thinnest lips. I just, my lips are so thin. My smile is crooked. I know, huh? Self, Self-critical, right? We're all so critical. But I do, I have the thinnest lips and sometimes I think, oh, you know, I said to Jay, I should just get one of those, just have him pump them up. He's like horrified. <laughs> I would never do that. But anyways, thanks so much for watching this part of it. Stay tuned if you're into the wigs. If you're not into the wigs, I get it. But thank you so much for hanging in as long as you have. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you in my uh, next video. Alrighty, hey guys. So I am selling, all of these are gonna be the same deal as last time, $25. Most of these, actually I think all of these, except for one, I, purchased, I was sent. I did purchase one. Um, but all of these were basically for review purposes only. So, um, I've not worn them. Now they have box hair because they've been in a box for a long time. So when you get a wig and it has box hair, give it a little wash, shake it out, whatever, but um, don't let the puffiness or the, you know, uncontrolled look scare you off. This one is Nell. This is by Renee of Paris from Adirans. And this is in the color Bronze Hazelnut R. Hoping this picks it up. Synthetic fibers. So this is a true shake and go. I'm gonna take her off. This is a basic cap. There is no lace front. There is no monofilament. That's what keeps this type of a wig super affordable. So you have here in the top a good amount of permatease. And the permatease, and I've not really combed this out, but the permatease is going to give you that lift. So you can shake it. It also has short bangs. And for me, because I have a super high forehead, these bangs are just way, way too short. Other than that, I love the cut. I love the color. This, Even though it's not my color, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful shade of brown. And yeah. If you're a bang person, grab this, $25. If you want the box, $30, $25 includes the shipping. The second one I have is also Renee in Paris. This is Cameron, and this is in the color Honey Wheat. So this is a really pretty color. And I think Cameron, I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't think I have the, yeah, this one has been in the box as well. So it's got a lot of box hair. Um, this has a little bit more permatease in the front and you can see it right here. So I'm gonna put this on just so you can get a, a look. See how crazy wild and woolly this looks when you put it on? <laughs> So this is actually a very popular style for Renee Paris. 
And I, I mean, I, <laughs> I hate even selling this because I think this is such a, I think it's such a cute look. So this is Cameron, basic cap, no lace front, no monofilament. It does have permatees. I'm gonna try to come up close. It does have permatees and you can feel the permatees. And I think the permatees is what gives it some really good shape. So Cameron in the color Honey Wheat. Renee Paris, camera on. I'm going to take this off. And I don't know if I showed you the inside yet or not. I think I did, but just one more look at this basic cap stretch. Really nice fibers. Camera on. The next one I have is also Renee Paris. And this is called Audrey. And this is in copper glaze. This is an awesome color. Just not for me. This is an awesome color. Let me show you the inside before I put her on. Again, basic cap. This is what makes these affordable, right? And um, Renee Paris, you've got some permatease here. You've got some stretch. And this color is really pretty if you are a redhead or you like that copper, warmer look. What do you think? Again, this has been in the box. Basic cap, really pretty color. This is copper glaze. This is Audrey. That's Audrey. And the last one, I'm gonna do four. This, oh, this last one is Silky Sleek in Creamy Toffee. I think, for some reason, I'm thinking one of these is heat friendly, but Basic cap, again, I, I'm going to look this up, but obviously I haven't really even broken apart the part on this. So if you are into the blondes, this is going to be quite a deal for you for this price. So if you're into the blondes, this is definitely a blonde look. Creamy toffee. This is silky sleek, and it really is silky sleek. Look at these fibers. Isn't that amazing? I think I'm gonna double check. I think one some of these I have to I'll have to look. But anyways, check this baby out. Isn't she pretty? So same deal. $25 as is. They have been worn, they have box hair, they've been in a box for, I don't know, over a year, maybe even close to two years. Um, I'm a non-smoker, there's no smoking smell in the house. I don't know if there's any perfume smell, but I do wear perfume, but I don't smell anything. And again, some of these, the parts have not even been broken. So, look at fibers out, isn't that cool? Anyways, $25, I'm gonna post all four of them. And if anyone has any interest, the one from last time, Wig Pro Robin, is still available. I'm going to put Robin on just for you guys to see. Robin is the one with the lace front. Robin is really cute if you have, if you're into short hair. And because I have such a high forehead, some of the short hair just doesn't look good on me because of my forehead and the bangs, you know, and all that, if the bangs are too short. But this, I, I think this is really pretty. But anyways, I'm really surprised nobody grabbed this. So, so there you go. Um, yeah, Robin is still available. And then these four from Renee Paris. I will link them all below, and again, this is an un incredible steal. It really is. $25 if you want the box, $30. Um, tell me which one you want, and you know, PayPal, friends and family. If, the reason why I want friends and family, if you don't know me, then I get you might be nervous, but 
you know, friends and family, that saves me money, right? Because if you do it the other way, then I have to pay something on top of it and I'm already paying shipping. So I'm not really making any money. Even though these were sent to me complimentary, you have to remember the time involved in reviewing a wig and all of that. So there's a lot of time involved. This is super long. So hopefully those of you that are into the wigs, you stayed and you've maybe fast forwarded to this section. But um, yeah, let me know if you want any. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.